Hey everyone, it is May 24th, Wednesday, and you're here at the Chaos DEI Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group. Uh, great to see everybody here. Um, as you probably know, if you've been here before, this is mostly for the people who are watching on the recording. Um, we do not care if you have your camera on or off, and if you like to interact, you can also just chat on the side um, with the text. That's totally fine. And this, as all chaos meetings, is under our chaos code of conduct. So just kind of keep that in mind. And I will pull up the agenda here. <laughs> we were just talking about mosquitoes and summers and yeah, breakfast. I don't know how, yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure how that train was that wet, but it was a winding one. It was a winding path. Um, if you need the minutes, we can certainly drop them in the chat again, but uh, yeah, so let's hop right in um, to our first item, which um, we kind of decided this morning <laughs> at the, uh, the event badging, I should write that in here, event, well, actually it's badging, um, just badging in general. Um, so we usually have event badging meetings uh, every other week, and we decided this morning to just combine it with this meeting. Um, for these reasons, you can see <laughs> right here, um, we, there were several reasons for doing that. So um, I did take it off the calendar. And what we're going to do in this meeting is just take the first 30 minutes and talk about anything diversity, equity, and inclusion, inclusive uh, inclusion, uh, metrics, whatever we need to talk about in the first 30 minutes. And then the second uh, 20 minutes, the last 20 minutes, we'll talk about the badging. Does anybody have questions about that? Works for me. Works for me. No questions, but uh, thank you for doing that. So, removing removing one meeting is uh, yes. pretty helpful. <laughs> <laughs> That's becoming our like top priority item in this in the chaos project. Right? <laughs> you got to well, metrics funny. and software. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's really funny because I looked at the calendar. Then removing that meeting means every other Wednesday, we only have one chaos meeting on a Wednesday. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. Oh my gosh. Kind of weird and nice. I know. I, yeah, I was kind of thinking, cause there's a few Tuesdays where we have like four things going on. I was like, should we balance it? And I'm like, you know what? No, I kind of like that little break. <laughs> Just having more one. Light, we're light on Mondays generally. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now Wednesday could be light and we don't have any meetings on Friday. So yeah. I mean, Tuesday, like it. Thursday kind of becomes it's like a college calendar, you know, like <laughs> just Tuesday, Thursday, right? Just load up, load up on Tuesday. But you know, it's funny, because once you're in that meeting kind of mode, anyway, like for me, it's just easier to knock them out and then have like a, a day where I can have like eat. a lingering meeting at like one o'clock in the afternoon, where you're just kind of waiting. For <laughs> <Right. it up. laughs> yes, yeah. Hey, Mary yeah. Blessing. Glad you could come today. Do you need the minutes? We can drop them in the chat. Also, yeah, Mary, sure. Sure. Oh, someone or Matt already did. So Mary Blessing, we were just saying, I'm not sure if you have attended that um, DEI badging meeting um, that happens on Wednesdays a little bit before this, like an hour and a half before this meeting. Um, but we are going to just combine it with this meeting. So we just took it off the calendar and we'll just split this meeting in half. Um, and I think we're good. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. Hold on. Let me grab some coffee. That'll help, I'm sure. Okay, we're good. Um, so the next thing on the agenda is the event location and equity metric. And I think, Kevin, you were working on that. Is there an update? Do we need to look at this or what's going on with that? Sorry, I lost my Zoom screen for a second. Uh, so the in the last meeting we actually uh, we collaboratively worked on this. Uh, so the the document's actually in a pretty good place. Uh, I should note, however, that this document uh, I think it is officially owned by the uh, Common Working Group. So I was uh, I was contemplating uh, having Common take a peek at it just to sign off on it in the this week's Common meeting. Yeah, that makes sense. I did see scroll up a little bit, Elizabeth. Like just our right now, let's keep going a little bit more. Like right there, the implementation. It's a little, a little vague. That's all. 
So typically, like a lot of times we don't have anything in that section. You know, we just go right to filters. Maybe we should take a peek at the event location accessibility metric real quick to see what that implementation looks like. That would work. I apologize, I don't remember. Uh, nope, that's different. If it is. Or I'm sorry, event location inclusivity. That's what it is. All right, so that one just drops right into visualizations. I also noticed on this one, we don't have anything under references, so we may want to do that. I don't know what those would be, but it feels like we should have something there. I don't know. Yeah, so like we're, we're a little inconsistent. So like under data collection strategies, for example, like sometimes the, that second point, for example, would just say, you know, um, I guess maybe not for example, um, but like IEEE SA open community calendar, that would just, we would just put like a reference there and then we would put that link down in the references. I see, I see. So move this down. Well, it would be like, yeah, we would go like this, like, like that. And then that would go away. That would become like that. See what I did? Yep. Do you want to do that here too? For the Linux Foundation one? Yeah. I don't know. That one seems a little different. Okay. So. Yeah, I think we need a little bit more cleanup on this, just under implementation where it says, um, surveys and project calendars. That's not so terribly helpful. Yeah. Should we just take that whole thing out? Yes, I think so. And then. Filters, time zone locations. So those are, I like the, no problem with the filters. And then if I scroll down, like tools providing the metric. So like, okay, so I am okay with those two. And maybe under data collection strategies, Mm -hmm. This feels a little random at the moment. So like if we want to do a survey, like give sample survey questions, we should probably follow the approach we use on, you know, the Likert scale. Yeah. So is that in the other metric event location inclusivity? I don't think so. We mostly are asking folks to reference external okay. things. Um, and like just kind of self-reflect on the way that they communicate what okay. issues might happen, but they're not really surveying the community about that. Okay. So let's, let's event organizers, ask event organizers where project events are located. I mean, I think the only thing you would survey, if, if we follow consistency, we would be saying survey your community to see if they feel like the, the events are, yeah, right. But... Yep, exactly. And here are some sample questions that could be used in that survey. Yeah. So like 
survey community members. I don't know. I think we have that kind of um, in project access, like the liker. Do you want to see a, an example? Yeah, exactly. If you could just copy that too. Oops. Yeah, like this. Yeah, just copy that. Now I've made a big mess. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> no, keep it. Okay. Here's the doc we're working on, if anybody is curious. My poor laptop sounds like it's about to take off into space. Is it loud? I don't hear no, it. We don't hear it, so Zoom is like making everything beautiful. Well, at least there's that. If I spontaneously combust during the meeting, you'll know why. Just saying. To start with the you could say, oh, yeah. Perfect. Does the I'm looking at the IEEE essay open? So that's that's similar to um, look on foundation project or foundation websites or. What if we did that? It's curious that a lot of these sites don't actually have maps. Okay, they don't. Like the Linux Foundation one and the IEEE SA Open. 
Like you can determine it. Yeah, maybe we should move over whenever everyone else moved over a little car. What's that, Amy? Oh, sorry, I'm driving and bitching at somebody. <laughs> it went down a one lane, and this one car decided to come down the left side and cut in. It's no <laughs> little car. I will mute because I do rage while I drive. <laughs> Don't road rage, Amy. Don't let them do that to you. Either. Okay, how about that? I can... Yeah, I like that calendar. Yeah. I'm just pointing to the two different cal. They're kind of both calendars. Yeah, way. I like that. How are we feeling? Also, can I just say, I love that this says 1,277.5 people. <laughs> so I want to know what a point five is. <laughs> is everybody pretty good with this? Better anyway? Yeah. I think this is great. So next step is to well, I think Kevin wants to bring it to common. Perfect. Awesome. Very blessing. We don't ask them for a map, um, but we could put that as a question, like for event organizers. Yeah. Do you even have a map? I love that. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, should we move on? This is just a note to um, kind of close the loop on these action items from before, um, cleaning stuff up and et cetera, editorial work. And we did all that. Cool. So check mark. Um, the next one is Ruth and I have, we talked yesterday about the newcomer orientation sessions and how we want to kind of rework how those work because we got feedback that it was just too much at one time. So, um, like having an hour of just like, here's chaos, like mm -hmm. fire hose of stuff. Um, so we've been kicking around some ideas. We're still thinking about it. Um, we've just been also kind of busy. Um, so it's still on our list. We're still talking about it. We just haven't formally decided on anything or come up with like a formal plan that we want to present to folks. So that's coming. Just stay tuned. It sounds like just the the a good approach is just to really dial it back a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we want to definitely do that and just do it in little chunks. It's just kind of like the way we guide folks through it and mm -hmm. it still incorporate kind of that like live one-on-one -on -one or you know in-person kind of connection so yeah because if we just throw out videos to them which they can do on their own time that's great but they don't really get a chance to connect with us on a more personal level so mm -hmm. which kind of um leads to this next point nice segue there matt thank you sure. uh what do you all think about rebranding or renaming the office hours quote unquote to something more informal like just newcomer hangout yeah, I like that idea. Office hours sounds too much like professor stuff. Yeah, and it's not clear to me that newcomers really understand what that's for. No. You know? and so um, sometimes they right. mm -hmm, sometimes they come and they um, are more expecting kind of a presentation, and sometimes they're just coming to see who's in there. Um, yesterday it was great. Like we, Mary Blessing was there. We just hung out for like an hour, just talking, and it was actually really awesome. And I really um, just thought, yeah, like this is a this is the way I kind of envision this, where questions come up informally, but we're you know also just kind of getting to know each other, and it's just a little less intimidating. I think. Well, fun. I think it's great. Okay, cool. Yeah. What, do, what does anybody else think? My blessing. What do you think about that? You're kind of muted. Well, you're not kind of muted. You are muted. If you are talking. 
So this one's not a for changing, it's black hangout. If we want to open it up and just call it a community hangout versus a newspaper hangout. That's a thought. What do you all think about that? What was the, I didn't quite catch it. Uh, Amy's saying maybe we should just call it a hangout and then whoever wants to pop in could pop in. So it wouldn't be just for newcomers, but it would just be for anybody who wants to chill with us. Is that why the older people in the community will be welcome and the newcomers will be able to ask questions and talk to people who have been around for a while? That's true. That's Just my thought. Chaos hangout and then like the sentence below could be like newcomers, experience, folks that have been in the community for a long time, anybody can join and just talk about chaos things. I do think the effort should be to help newcomers. Like I would, don't, wouldn't want the hangout to be like, we start talking about like auger, like details of auger development. And I just. Yeah. Well, and then it has happened when I've joined, there's been auger questions and, but usually but that's that a the, bad thing. Uh, when it's, like in the cases when it's happened, it, there have been a, a low number of people there who were interested and it was fine. I think if there were a large, like four or five or 10 people and only one of them was interested in auger, that might be a case to take it offline. Yeah. My only, I just didn't want to get it too far away from like really trying to just help newcomers engage in the community. And totally I just didn't want it to be a, a conversation that is like, that stems from two years of work or something like that. Right. Yeah, I was just thinking if we open it up, that would give help for the newcomers. Was my thought on that. Maybe we could. Um, it can go either way. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like keeping it named something newcomer just so they know that they're welcome and that it isn't going to turn into like just an old school chat, you know, but. Um, I, maybe we could then tell um, some of the uh, folks who have been in the community a long time, if you want to pop in and say hi and meet the newcomers, then that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Make sure um, establish. Because it was it was really great to see newcomers connecting with each other there too, and just kind of hanging out and getting to know each other. I really liked that a lot. I thought that was awesome, and that has happened in the past where you know two newcomers come and then now they have a shared bond, you know, a shared experience because they know that they've chatted with each other, and it's like kind of cool to see that. Okay, thanks everybody. Um, oh my gosh, look at this time! It's absolutely perfect. How did we do that? Oh, how did we do that? We are amazing. Okay. Oh, Mary Blessings typing here. Uh, she says, Poor guy. yeah, I can do the heavy lifting. Newcomers can just be hangout. Yeah, I like that. First tour guide yesterday went great. They said it was a great start for them. Oh, fantastic. I love that. I love that. Thank you, Mary Blessing. That's so awesome to hear that. Yeah, I thought it was great to see somebody post. Just say, I, you know. And that person was in the office hours yesterday. Okay. So that, I think that's where they heard about it. And so we just said, yeah, you can just reach out. And that's great. Yeah. So it did kind of work as we hoped it would. <laughs> so that was cool. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's move on to badging since we are in the last 20 minutes of our meeting. Um, for those who haven't heard, the DEI.MD and Project Badging um, Initiative with All In, I should put that on here. With all in. Um, did get released yesterday, Monday, sorry, Monday. Uh, here is the website where it's showing up right now. And we're, uh, this is just like a high level kind of overview of what it is. Um, we are asking for folks to participate and um, in two ways, either uh, volunteer your project to be part of the limited pilot program, or else if folks wanna help us build out these metrics and these levels, um, they can join us. And this is the meeting where they would come when we get responses to this. Or if we have folks reaching out, they will direct them to this DEI, dot working, DEI working group meeting. Yes. Do you have access to the 
the results or is that i do and we have not had any responses yet okay. but to be fair i did mess up the form yeah the day. so it was locked down unfortunately for uh, uh during the meeting and the the youtube video is also still processing two days later which is weird but i guess that happens so it's in a queue somewhere okay and so then maybe when it does come out we could ask all in and us to do use our socials for what we can yeah. do yeah and just so folks know it will be on the github channel so we will get hopefully some more views um we have no views yet because it hasn't been posted yet but it'll be there soon and, and i think have, um, i saw they have three hundred thousand subscribers almost so yeah so we'll get a little visibility um i will also say i think all in is working on a blog post about it as well so that will bring some folks that'll bring some traffic to us okay that would be good and can we yeah. like make sure to get this like when it's out like on linkedin oh yeah 100 percent. yeah Oops. okay Let's just um post this here i'll just say communications yeah and mastodon if that's been figured out yet it has yeah yeah I usually I, have that I, too. I do I, LinkedIn. I, I'm still not on Mastodon. I I just I can't do another channel in my life. I just can't. I'm already overwhelmed. I did Chaos Con on Twitter also, just because we still have folks there. Yeah, you know? I don't. I know. It's weird, but um, yeah. so those are, that's what I do. The three I do okay. LinkedIn, Mastodon, and Twitter. And I suspect that will help in terms of people applying. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. We don't yeah. have Facebook, but I, I'm okay with that, <laughs> I think. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, the new event badge orientation, I was reminded that we, I was trying to do it today, but we ended up canceling the meeting. So I'm just gonna do a one-on-one. -on -one. We had one person, um, the CIO is interested in being a badger. So I'm just gonna do a one-on-one -on -one with her, but um, I would like to do maybe something a more open in June. Okay. Um, so if anybody on this call or watching wants to get information about being a, a new event badger, um, you can fill this little form out here, or you can reach out. That's fine too. This seems like something that would like probably be good to post in general. Or, yeah. You know, for folks that are part of the chaos project and looking for ways to get involved. Yeah, I'll, I'll post it in newcomers too. Okay. Yeah, those seem to be good. And I'll also put in newsletter and socials. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that we are needing more, um, but I just like to keep it, you know, keep it going. So. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And are we? Are there any open events right now? Are those still yes. going okay? Yeah, they're still going okay. I think there's two. One. Uh, let's look and see. I think there's two open. Okay uh yeah these two okay and they're okay uh, oh i thought i did i not do this one i did not i will do that i thought i did oh that's so weird okay well that's why we're here okay i will assign this and then the other one had a question back to this person because jessica left the linux foundation yeah. so i think there was some questions okay yeah i think that was i'll, I'll check it out but okay yeah. Okay, great. Let me and just then, put a little note here to me. Oops. AI Elizabeth. Check that in. What were you going to say, Matt? Well, so I have two two things. One, I did have a question kind of on the project badging form site. Um, how is the work that I think, you know, like, Ruth and I think Kingsley's doing a lot of work on that application you know so like when we get to the point where somebody would like to apply for a badge not just the pilot program but actually go through the process I know they've been doing a lot of work on a page where people could apply is that work going to be handed off to the folks at GitHub who can like integrate it with yeah the thing you're pointing to right there 
So what the way I'm envisioning it, and I think is the way it's going to work, at least right now, it could change, I guess, um, is that would this would take so the badging website is all in the all in repo, all that work is happening in the all in repo, and yeah. it would just link to that page instead of the form. It would link to would link. the application. It would say apply now. Yeah. And that yeah. that would be the page that all of those folks are working on. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And they're using the like the um, all in um, branding and everything. So it'll be seamless. Like the person on the other end who is, yeah. is applying won't, okay. won't see a difference. It'll just be okay. like, and it's kind of like how there's like all in for students, yep. you know, like that's separate, but it's still all in this whole. Yep. You see what I did there? It's all in. Yep. No, <laughs> um, so yeah, it'll just be like it's very clever, wasn't it? Thank yeah, you. Sean. I thought so. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, so either this will go straight to that page, or okay. it'll go here and then to the page. That, that would be a, apply yeah. now instead of participate now. And yeah. would, I just wanted to make sure that that work that they've been doing for quite a while wouldn't get lost. No, no, it's all happening in that all in repo. So yeah, it should just be pretty seamless. And okay. they've been working with the folks who built this page too. Yeah. So everybody's been connected. They're all kind of connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. that's cool. And then um, the other thing, I I just I'm still like on event badging. I'm still just absolute like I just we can't seem to get other foundations to participate in the program, and I'd really like to, and I just. You know, I've reached out to, you know, ASF events team, and I've tried to reach out to some folks at Eclipse. And I just, I don't, I'm a little stuck on how we can <laughs> do better. I don't know. You know, and I don't want to just like keep emailing people saying, hey, could you please do this? Could you please do this? Because I think people want to have to do it, <laughs> like not be bothered in, I don't know. Anyway, I just, I'm, I'm really struggling with this a little bit, something I'm thinking about a lot and I don't have a good answer. Yeah, I don't really have a good answer either. Um, do you think it, Matt, do you think it's that the process is daunting uh, maybe folks aren't seeing the actual value, like it's worth their time, or do you think they just don't really know what it is? Or what, yeah, if you had yeah, to guess, like what I, would you say? My, my guess is Eclipse is kind of a distinct community compared to other open source communities, and they just might not be aware or engaged. Like we might have to go to them, would be my guess. Well, I have been so like I've been reaching out to folks at the Eclipse Foundation and at the ASF. And so I've been reaching out directly and I, my the general response and even like um, folks at like numb focus like the response is always like that sounds really great and then it just kind of stops. You know, so I, I don't know that it's really that first issue Elizabeth that there that there's even taking a look at it, that it's daunting. I feel like we're having a hard time even getting people to take a look at it. Like, you know, like when you talk to somebody in the hall and they're like, you should do this. And you're like, uh-huh, that sounds great. And then you go to, to your hotel room and you're like, I don't know, I'm doing that. So I, I feel like we're in that spot that the, the premise is well-received, but we're just not getting folks to, to check it out. Maybe uh, maybe we need to put together some presentations in uh, in the relevant conferences, you know, at a, Apache conferences or Eclipse conferences or yeah, Python yeah. conferences. Maybe that's the because I, 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 I do agree with Sean. I think we're to a degree we're asking them to to meet us here, and maybe maybe we need to do a better job of kind of meeting them where they're at. Yeah, Mary Blessing says something similar. Um, maybe they're not seeing the reasons to do this. Yeah, so so maybe more education and meeting them where they are. Yeah, it's like if we did a talk at like all things open, just for as an example. Right. Like the people that attend that talk, are they event organizers? Like, is that the right 
you know, like it's kind of hard to know where those folks live and where they where they go to learn. And I don't know. I don't know either. I like that though, like maybe spending some time at an ASF conference or an Eclipse Foundation conference or a numb focus. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think finding time to get there and, and meet those folks and maybe give presentations at those sites mm -hmm. would be helpful. Like it's, yeah, it's like being an academic. Sometimes you have to go on tour. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, that's helpful. Because the, the email outreach doesn't seem to be doing it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I, I mean, there's, yeah, I, 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 I hear that. And I've tried. Yeah, you know, I know you have. Like to the extent that <laughs> usually there should be some traction, but. So do we have an, is there, is there anyone on this call that wants to maybe look at this a little deeper, like when those conferences are and. I would do that. I mean, I'm happy to, to try to move this forward. Okay. Yep. And then as far as, you know, maybe um, sending, submitting in um, some CFPs, um, I know we have folks that have talked about this at other places, but um, yeah, maybe we could figure out how to get, how to get those talks in. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm happy to, my schedule for some of you that know is opening up a lot <laughs> this summer <laughs> as I have a couple kids going different directions in the world. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, traveling will be a, a kind of a, whole different thing for me next year in a good way yeah yeah and um that's great okay that sounds good cool. thanks for the feedback that's helpful yeah. oh we have seven minutes left who, who does anybody have anything left done uh, I'm, um, I'm willing to take back the seven minutes <laughs> uh, me too yeah that sounds good. All right. I'm going to go shove my... All right, take care, all. All right, all right. I'll see y'all later. See y'all later. Thanks, right. everybody. Bye. Bye.